The Petrogas Angels tried very hard, but the Korean Brand Cool Smashers are still undefeated in the PVL Season 3 Open Conference. With Eliza Valdez and Gemma Galatza leading the way, the Cool Smashers are now just one win away from clinching the title after sweeping Petrogas in Game 1 of the Finals. Talk about uh, Creamline's victory in Game 1 and as well as preview uh, what might happen in Game 2. Uh, we bring in our PVL analysts, Noreen Go and Mac Janisho. Uh, guys, Creamline, still undefeated, still winning. Kahit dikit na yung set 3, Petrogas was on the verge of winning that set, but Creamline still pulled it off. Creamline is Creamline. They're really showing us uh, why they didn't lose a match in the elimination round. They're bringing it to the semis and then to the finals. They're really just showing us they're in a level of their own. Ibang klase kasi even when Petrogas was uh, leading, they kept exactly. their composure, they knew what they can do, composure. and they did exactly that. Kumbaga, even before the season or the conference started, they seemed to have um, predicted the problems that may come and came into the season with the solutions already. Sabi mo, ano yun? Uh, may checklist. May checklist. Na-check nila lahat. Lahat, bench, lahat. Composure. Contingency plan. Con- for undefeated. <laughs> lahat, uh, lahat, uh, lahat naka-check. Okay. Let's put a checklist on the players uh, of Creamline. And for you, Banks, yung Gemma Alisa combo, you've been really impressed by that. Uh, it's impressed especially if you compare it to the outside hitters of their opponent, mm-hmm. of Petrogas. Because uh, Gemma Galanza and uh, Alisa Bal- Valdez, they were already good before. We all know that. But the addition of Gemma Galanza being consistent this conference is making all the difference. Because... Now, you don't have to wait for Eliza to go to the front row to score and you don't have to get her all too tired sa back row if she attacks because you already have Galanza you already have, you, and you also have Gumabaw. Gumaba. So, there are just too many options for Gia Morado. So, sobrang dami options. So, you have a, a Gemma Eliza combo. Norina man for you. You want to focus on the major classic classic oh, classic uh, Alisa Gia combo yung pang 80s ganun hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman sila ayun dalawa yun classic <laughs> no no yeah because uh, the team obviously it ran on its own already when Alisa and Gia had to leave for national team duties, duties no yeah exactly so obviously with their entry here they're showing for me uh, the same maturity given already like we said nga they're already a good a good team with Galanza Gumabo and the rest but again, with Morado and Eliza back in the fold, and obviously wanting to reclaim the title they lost in the reinforced conference, they're showing the way. Eh? Um, every, everyone can score. Morado, what can we say about her setting? Just impeccable. No? This ball distribution. But then, I'd like to say that even with such a great team, such a balanced team, Eliza still managed to score at 19 points. I mean, that goes to show that, uh, again, that's why she's in the national team. That's why she's the Phoenix. And, and thanks for you for game two. So this this Creamline team, undefeated with all the positives and all the talent and all the combos, you feel that this team should show, uh, in your words, no mercy. No mercy. Because for <laughs> me at this point, their biggest opponent or their biggest the, the biggest thing blocking them from that championship would be complacency. If they show one bit of complacency, they don't want that. You don't want to give Petrogas a chance to... To bring this to a game three. Yeah, you pinakita no Petrogas ng set three. They can show mm-hmm. that for like the whole of game two. Yes, exactly. Because um, Petrogas, they have heroes amongst themselves. Eh. Yeah. Uh, they're like the Avengers. Kaso kinulang sa end game. And if they somehow manage to fix that, I'm sure there is a chance then. It, it's not volleyball toy. It's a sport. So may chance palagi na for them to, to, to win pa rin. I think yeah. the read parang you you feel that you Petrogas they have no other choice but to raise their intensity yeah. in game two. I mean how they how are they supposed to do that? Well, it, obviously, you know, I mean, given this conference, nga, they have yet to beat the uh, cream line, although they won a set. Uh, I think in Bacolod, was it Bacolod? But they won a set, no. And then we talk about that uh, that third set. They really showed that they are they can match up well, but it's you know you mentioned the end game. It's the end game that counts. So for me. Petrogas coming into the second game, they need to dig deep within themselves. You know, they can't just play their game. Eh. Parang given already throughout the elimination and, and the, this is the game one, no? you have to play at a different level. To outclass a classy team in Creamline, 
you really have to find something within yourself and then when you go there parang it's different yung talagang yung pang challenge already that you really want to rock this cream line team and you gotta challenge them intimidate them the best way you can it's not an easy thing to do but i think that's the that's the big big chance the, the chance will come from that if they are mentally sound and really focused i think you paying attention to the details of your petrogas thanks for you service which became painfully evident in the end game uh, and the end game, game one yes this two, is something that petrogas kailangan nilang tutukan yes two very cru crucial uh, service errors uh, in that um, crucial part of the set they were killing their own momentum Correct. and that's not good if you're going up against a team that already has the highest of high na confidence so try to um, eliminate those errors and they might have a chance. Totally agree. And, and uh, going back, nga, if they're mentally sound, which is a very important thing going to game two, then come crunch time, these services will go, will go in. You know, it, It's nerve setting in. Nga, eh. Them questioning themselves that, okay, this, these are important serves, but can you imagine they do 100, 200 serves during training. training, but why? Why come that per important time? It doesn't go in. Then, then I go back to. They have to be really mentally stable. Right. Game two of the PVL season three Open Conference Finals is on Saturday. Creamline with a victory, they will take back the championship. PV, uh, Petrogas, if they win, then we will have a game number three. Thank you very much, uh, Mac Dionisio and Mr. Ringo. Thank you, Thank you guys. This has been The Score. I'm Miko Anili. You can also watch The Score on I Want for free. And we leave you now with our feature on the One Championship Open Workout. We'll see all of you again tomorrow. Excited pa rin kahit na Pinoy yung mga kalaban natin. Kasi at the end of the day, this is all sports. Siyempre, rinerespeto ko si Kuya Rene. Kasi yun sila yung nagre-represent ng Pilipinas noon. Matagal na sila sa sport na to. Naging champion na siya ng Wushu multiple times. I think ito naman yung time ko na mag-champion multiple times. Mula pagkabata ako, uh, trabaho ko sa bukid. Pagtatanim ng palay. Kahit uh, hindi kaya yung isang sakong palay, tinry na magbuhat para mabuhay lang. Yung mga may hirap na atleta, ramdam ko yung gusto nilang umangat sa buhay. Kami naman sa team namin, as in, tinatanim namin yung mga atleta para magkaroon ng pangalan. Actually, uh, ayaw kong lumabas sa kapaw Pinoy ko. Pero in the second chance na in-offer sa akin ng one championship, hindi ko na hinindihan dahil sa goal namin ng team ko, sa passion namin na para na tumulong sa mga mahihirap na dadak. Napaka-importante ng event na ito para sa akin kasi tingin ko hindi ko pa nare-reach yung full potential ng skill ko para makabalik ulit dun sa race na kung saan doon tayo nakulog. My opponent is an upcoming uh, fighter. He's hungry to get the big uh, W for this fight. Pinaghandaan natin kung ano man yung kalakasan niya, kung ano yung areas ng weakness niya, yun ang dapat na-expose natin. Sa lahat ng Filipino kababayans namin, be sure to watch uh, One Masters of Faith this coming Friday. Kahit na Filipino versus Filipino ito, para din sa Pilipinas ito.